Hi friends. My name is Meredith and today I am going to read the book One is a Lot, except when it's not. And I wonder as I see this cover, do you think one is a lot? It looks like one might be a lot for this squirrel. But let's find out when one is a lot and when one is not a lot. Two is a little. Zero is nothing. And one is not enough. Except when one is a lot. One sun is a lot. One tree is a lot. One nut is a lot. But two is too much. One dog is a lot. One squirrel is a lot. One bicycle is a lot. But zero is just right. One key is a lot. One ride is a lot. One leash is a lot. But two is too much. Uh-oh, it looks like the two leashes are getting tangled. One hello is a lot. One cloud is a lot. One umbrella is a lot. But zero is just right. Sometimes one is not enough. And sometimes one is a lot. I want to go back one page. Do you notice what's happening? The acorn fell into the puddle and then it's a sprout and then it becomes a sapling and then it becomes a tree. So that one does seem like a lot. And then here they are. One is a lot right at the end. So that book is One is a Lot. And I really like the idea of when one can be a lot, when one is not enough, when two is too much, when zero is just right. <laughs> because sometimes we think about those numbers as being small numbers, not being enough. But sometimes they're too much. Can you think about times like that in your life when zero is just right or when one is too much or when one is just right? I bet there are lots of times that you can think of that. If you sit down and think all through your day, make a list if you want, draw a picture. When is one just right or too much or a lot? If you do draw a picture of that, you can send it to me and maybe I will post it up on the blog, Story Adventures with Meredith. I would love to see when one is too much, when one is a lot. Well, thanks for listening today and I can't wait for our next story adventure. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Story Adventures with Meredith. New videos every week.